Hey guys, welcome back to another pick a card reading where today we will be talking about what's your reputation in the society. So you have three paths to choose from. You have pull, think and understand. So pick one of these and we will check what's your reputation in the society. So pull, think or understand. So for those who chose this pull, let's see, we won't do reversals uh, in this reading because they have some descriptions and they're all in, uh, I decided to use them uh, in the upper position. Let's see. What's your reputation in the society? <clears throat> Let's pull a few more. You feel like for a lot of you, you have a reputation of somebody who has a lot of spiritual wisdom with this card. So maybe you're somebody well versed when it comes to religious, when it comes to uh, explaining certain spiritual concepts. So there's an energy of that. Then we also have this action oriented uh, card, which is Knight of Swords. Mm. And what it's kind of implying here is, uh, I'm sensing that for a lot of you, you are very, how do I say, energized about your talents, especially about your latent talents. You know how many people, uh, well, our hidden talents usually don't always come to the surface. However, with you guys, you do have some Aries energy when it comes to the spirit of manifesting your potential. So... Uh, you do have an, a rep reputation of somebody who mm, kind of behaves uh, in a very proactive way, a very proactive way, uh, in the perfect accordance with who you are as a person, as a being, as a personality. And then we do have this anxiety, nine of swords, however, it's uh, about the loss card. So for a lot of you, you are known as somebody who kind of diminishes other people's anxiety in a way. And also somebody who has stained a big portion of your shadow, uh, part of your personality. And so uh, I will say that you have quite a favorable uh, reputation. And you also have this indication that due to you having multiple rebirths in this lifetime, see how this devil card... Uh, how fiery it looks, rebirth, and due to taming uh, these mentioned aspects of your personality and uh, kind of having multiple reinventions of who you are as a spirit, as a person, you had big amounts of success in this lifetime with this Diana chariot. So I almost feel like there's this energy of somebody who does the hard things first in order to be uh, glad or comfortable or have it easier later. So a definitely strong indication correlated to that. You do have the Hierophant and Magician. I also feel like some of you have a reputation of being 
a perfect blend of kind of spirituality plus religion. So maybe you're somebody who doesn't negate uh, one for the other or you don't um, you don't specifically feel like you have to maybe decide between the spirituality and religion. So this is something that people may have noticed uh, about you, potentially for some of you, due to your associations, due to your foreign uh, contacts, maybe you talk uh, with a lot of foreign people, you do have the world and achievement here. For some of you, it's like people of other cultures helped you manifest your talents. Uh, that's something that I'm also getting uh, as your reputation. I'm sorry about myself, okay? So, uh, you do have the burdens of responsibility. So I will say that people feel like you, your life is not easy in terms where you have plenty of time to be complacent. However, you make it work for you with this balancing resources. I do feel like you don't spend frivolously for a lot of you. Uh, you are very cognizant about where every penny goes or it's not like you're a penny pincher. However, you are, uh, you like to, as I say, <clears throat> you like to exude awareness when it comes to financial responsibility. So uh, this would be a portion of your reputation in this world in a way. You do have the devil, you're also known as somebody who, how do I say, gives people this, these hopeless crushes in a way, where a lot of people you are fatal or that one fatal love. Uh, you know how they say, uh, no matter how tough you are, there's always one love that almost uh, put you into the psychiatry or in the hospital or something like that. So, um, as I said, um, I lost my <laughs> I lost my stream of thoughts, but you get what I meant here in a way. Uh, so you do have magician and strong Aries energy, and once again, devil is here. Maybe some of you guys were you help you have almost this hyper fixation. Uh, when it comes to uh, realizing and manifesting your potential. So for a lot of you, uh, it's almost like you are slightly OCD in the best possible way about manifesting your talents, manifesting your skill sets. <clears throat> so this is something that people may have noticed about you and uh, something that they kind of cherish about you. Do you hear the noise? Uh, let's see. As I said, a lot of people feel like you're quite action-oriented, uh, especially uh, correlated to things where other people kind of hesitate or uh, are not really also eager uh, to indulge. Some of you may have a reputation of being a clean freak, is what I'm also sensing. We do have moon in Aries. So some strongly Aries dominated people in this uh, pile is what I'm sensing. Let me just see. You do have world on pages for it. Some of you may have spent portion of your educative uh, periods uh, abroad or you may have somehow um, you had a correlation with foreign cultures when it comes to your education. So this is also a part of your reputation. We do have the Mercury in 11th house, so people feel like your reputation is that of somebody who has progressive circle of friends. Uh, it's almost like people are slightly intimidated to become your friend because they are slightly like, will I be too ordinary for you? Will my life be uh, too mundane for you? However, uh, you resonate with that aspect. But we do have the Mars in first house. Sometimes you, and also uh, because of this Knight of Swords, sometimes you kind of allow yourself uh, to be guided by your impulsivity, is what I would say. And this really serves you well in many occasions. So you do have strong sense of self-worth here. Uh, 
and in a way nobody can play you when you are known for that you are known uh, for being guarded in all the right uh, circumstances I feel like there's just something about your intellect where uh, people just feel like your uh, power of intellect doesn't allow you to be played with so also with this Mercury in 11th house it aspects the direct uh, opposite of 5th house of romance and um, so you will rationalize many of your uh, romantic attempts or many of people who try to approach you romantically you won't be exactly the type to kind of lose your head or uh, just go head over heels without, uh, how do I say, ch checking their background or um, checking their records basically. So quote unquote, uh, in a way you like to know uh, and thoroughly who is this person with whom you are getting involved with. <clears throat> and I love this uh, for you guys, this is amazing. Uh, so you have quite a strong power of discernment uh, also because of this high priestess is here, which is hidden talents. I also feel like uh, your hidden talents make you somehow more uh, successful in this world. Uh, they make you more efficient uh, for whatever reason. You also do have the Leo in uh, fourth house. So I do feel like for a lot of you, uh, your reputation is of somebody who is... I mentioned something initially in the beginning of this reading, but like something who is good, good for other people's psychology, if that will make sense. Some of you will resonate with being therapists or uh, just somebody who is like nature, a psychologist who understands really well and has this uh, quite uh, strong emotional intelligence and you know um, real well how to behave in certain circumstances and how to meet certain patterns of other people, of other uh, personalities that you kind of encounter. Then we do have the Cancer in uh, ninth house. So for some of you, you are known as somebody who pacifies your mind, mind your inner state of being by your religious practices, by uh, the spiritual things or uh, sanskalpas or mantras that you do. Maybe you're somebody who has overcome a huge portion of your anxiety uh, by doing some sort of a meditation, dynamic meditation. I don't know, uh, just the ability to be fully focused uh, in your deeds in a way. Uh, so, hey, but if you like this small report, give it a small like so that it reaches more people. And let's see what else do we have. As I said, we do have this moon in Aries. <clears throat> Somehow, some way, your way of thinking is always fresh and you have reputation correlated to that. So, also, you have a reputation of somebody who has effortless sex appeal. <clears throat> you don't even notice all those people dying to get with you, uh, dying to get acquainted with you, or I don't know. Yeah, just dying to uh, taste a more sensual side of you. So there's a strong indication uh, with regards to that. We do have the Venus in third house. So we have some good writers, painters here. Uh, People who are in all, all, all sorts of creative uh, skills. And also here in like calligraphy and third house is all about uh, hands and venuses. Uh, what we are very good in our talents. So uh, everything that's kind of done with the hands. Some of you may have beautiful hands and you have reputation uh, correlated to that. Uh, for a lot of you, there's something very seductive about your speech. Is what I'm sensing. The third house governs uh, our communication, and Venus here kind of denotes <clears throat> that you really have this fluidity, this uh, this ability to make people enjoy your communicative process. So that's something that. Uh, 
is evident in this pile. Yeah, but I feel like I'm gonna conclude it here for the pile. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this small report. Uh, if yes, and if you want some more material, maybe check one of the other piles as well. And if not, see you in the next reading. Bye bye. So for those who chose this thing of her What's your reputation? So, pile two. Yeah, we do have this perfect success card here. So, what I'm simply getting with this one uh, is for a lot of you guys, your success is very well earned. You're also known as somebody who utilizes all your phases very well. Here we have material trouble. So it's almost like it's okay uh, when there are abundant times, it's okay when there's slightly less movement, slightly less uh, momentum. Uh, it's like when there are abundant times you use and utilize those times, I don't know, to stack some money. And then <clears throat> where are less abundant times you choose that period to kind of reconcile differences with family members and to kind of spend more time in nature and with those who are really close to your heart um, and also when there's not a lot of movement in your life you're somebody who will use that period for I don't know developing some sort of a talent behind the closed door so we have here rest from strife energy so as I said, you're somebody who has this reputation of somebody with amazing self-care game after a loss in your life, after a breakup, after uh, loss of a job, loss of a family member in that, uh, God forbid, right? So uh, people are very well aware that you are somebody who knows how to take care of yourself and for a lot of you you are known as somebody who have who has how do I say more expensive talents compared to most people uh, to do so for example I don't know you are going through a breakup and uh, you know some perfect shamanic technique for uh, getting rid of uh, attachment or uh, something like that where you really it's almost like things that you accrued, things that you accumulated throughout years. Uh, they kind of feed you on a deep energetic level and uh, you kind of use everything uh, that your lifetime has provided you with in a way, especially when it comes to your romantic connections, romantic, uh, romantic, how do I say? <sighs> unions with other people in a way so 
this is something very significant in this one. We do have the material work in Princess of Wands reverse. So for a lot of you, I'm getting quite a Capricornian vibe about how you approach your job, how you uh, approach your duties. It's not like you don't value creativity or uh, artistic expression or, I don't know, professions who are which are slightly more out of the box. Uh, however, for the big portion of this pile, I do feel like you like to have a stable, secure job, and uh, even if it's 9 to 5, uh, you like to know that those benefits will be ensured uh, for you, and uh, you kind of try to go for the practical benefits over the course of time, so uh, a lot of you are known for that. We do have the sorrow reversed and peace. So, this card looks pretty ominous here. Uh, peace and what's this? Material. Let me just see. Material. No, harmonious change. However, it's reversed. Yeah, so I will say that uh, correlated to this, you have a reputation of somebody unbothered by small things, unbothered uh, by small. Uh, life upheavals in a way. You are not somebody who is overly prone to stress or stressful episodes. You guys from this pile wouldn't be the type to uh, have stomach cramps because of the stress or uh, anything like that. And if you are, this maybe isn't your pile because this one is quite a uh, stress-free, chill one. And I'm also hearing for some of you, your emotions never impact your uh, physical state of being. So let's imagine that you have just been through a horrible, through most horrible breakup of your life. However, you would be still eating well, still sleeping sound. Uh, your habits are on point and everything you maintain yourself. So yeah, people kind of have noticed this about you. Some of you have an have a reputation of being an amazing kisser. It's almost like some of you, some of your exes bragged about it or something like that. And then we do have the Saturn third house. Yeah, and you could be known as somebody who doesn't talk a lot about specific topics is what I'm sensing. Uh, and also there's a portion of this reputation that kind of indicates um, that you never disclosed all the things that you went through in your life in a way and with the judgment reversed many people will only kind of be able to grasp uh, I don't know one seventh of who you are uh, as a being as a individual so you su successfully I wouldn't say that you hide things, but you successfully and strategically know how to choose what to not reveal in a way. And then we do have this despair and cruelty and prudence. Yeah, I'm also getting some of you if you are if you have clients, customers, etc. etc. You are somebody who will make people appreciate your work. Uh, you will make people wait on your service. You won't overextend yourself. Or uh, if something is absolutely outrageous at your job or with your family members, you will be the one to say, uh, to kind of vocalize it. So you do have also this Saturn in third house is no nonsense. Uh, so you will be very direct in those circumstances. And then Jupiter in second house is here. So you could have the reputation of somebody who likes to have funds for the rainy days. So uh could also be having a reputation of somebody who likes perfumes. <clears throat> and products in general that add that Venusian flair. Uh, for both my masculine and feminine. We do have the Queen of Pentacles. So in this sense, and despair and cruelty is here. Some of you are advocates for uh, against cruelty of animals, toward animals. Um, some of you have like special sensitivity toward them. 
uh, you are it's almost like you are able to connect with animal energetically and I don't know tell a wet uh, where it hurts uh, in their body or um, if you are still not aware of that gift you do possess it is what I'm sensing so let me just see you do have the Venus in doors uh, I will also say that some of you are known as being quite open, quite transparent about the things that are uh, superficial or vain about you or earthy about you because this Queen of Pentacles uh, accepts and cherishes, cherishes all her senses. So uh, I wouldn't have a lot of people like doing ascetic practices and uh, abstinence from many things in a way you feel like you are la you feel like life is to be lived basically and then there is this Jupiter in 8th house so you do have this reputation of not really uh, how do I say revealing other people's secrets uh, especially if you are in the profession which requires that and you are appreciated for that basically and we have cancer in 11th house here so a lot of you have a reputation of somebody who has those really close bonds with your friends uh, like there can be more than one friend that you consider your soul family friend etc etc hey but if you like this small report give it a small like so that it reaches more people somebody here has the reputation of having a trained torso uh, somebody worked on their chest on their abs is what i'm sensing or like silhouette in the upper part of body uh, and you could also have a reputation of somebody who knows how to focus on different part different parts of your body to kind of emphasize in exercises etc etc to emphasize its best traits so let's see <clears throat> you do have mercury in fifth house so for a lot of you you are known as somebody who although you are a marriage material you're quite playful in love you like to have fun uh, you like to have light activities with your partner. Uh, that's something interesting in this one. Let me see, I saw one other placement that I wanted to kind of address here. Yeah, we do have the Mercury in fourth house. So, some of you could be home uh, schooled. Maybe you have homeschooling during growing up or you're currently studying something. Uh, you're furthering education, your education from home uh, for some. So you also have a reputation of somebody who has beautiful skin for some. Uh, there's an indication correlated to that. And for a lot of you people kind of feel like you're quite traditional in your preferences, especially when it comes to love and romance, the type of partner that you choose. Uh, maybe you have a tendency of picking, picking more conserv conservatively looking partners or uh, it can be correlated to their more subtle traits is what I'm sensing so there is a strong indication uh, to traditionalism and purity in many ways so However, with the right person you get unleashed, this is something that I'm sensing. Maybe somebody who likes springs or somebody who really comes alive during the spring. For a lot of you, uh, someone looks real good in blue is what I'm sensing. Uh, so you may like to wear blue for some, let's see. I also say that a lot of you have a reputation of beautifully integrated feminine side so regardless of your preferences uh, sexual orientation gender it's irrelevant on the channel uh, in a way so let's see yeah but i feel like i'm gonna conclude it here uh, for the pile i hope you guys enjoyed this small report if you did maybe listen to one of the other files as well
uh, to get some more tea and if not see you in the next reading bye bye Those who chose this understand. What's your reputation? A lot of you, you have a reputation of somebody who wants a traditional marriage uh, and that you know how to repulse players uh, from trying to woo you, to court you. Uh, maybe some of you by default intentionally uh, say something very serious to them like soon in the game as some sort of a test where you... Uh, check that way how serious they could be, uh, would they get immediately scared or something like that. So some of you could be known as slightly trying to test your partners or uh, to create some sort of a situation or scenario that they have, have to overcome in order to get to you. We do have this tower uh, here so i'm thinking of like is it rapunzel that princess that was on the tower and he had to get to her uh, to earn her affections and whatever so people could be seeing you as somebody who has the reputation of someone who is quite hard to get so i mean this is amazing but I do feel like sometimes you can get overly guarded toward people who really have a true sense of potential with you, so maybe just consider that. But Tower here does the note that you had many transformative, uh, abrupt events in your life, the Seven of Pentacles, maybe multiple situations where you invested a lot in a project, in a person, in, in an endeavor, uh, and it didn't really pan out. However, people somehow see it with Nine of Cups as always launching you towards something even better, even more prosperous, even more uh, lucrative for you. So this is something that I would say. You do have the Devil and Temperance. So you are known as somebody who has this quite healing impact, but it's almost like you're slightly selfish with your healing energies, what I would say. You're slightly selfish with your good vibes, good intentions. And this is something that people have noticed and they, and they appreciate it about you because they are very much aware that they can take you for granted in a way. So uh, I do feel like you're doing something good here. You do have the four of pentacles reversed so you could have a reputation of somebody who is never uh, without money even uh, even if you feel you have uh, your periods of crisis this is not something that people perceive you do have the world and ten of cups so you could be having the reputation of somebody who has family or relatives abroad or maybe the one of your scissor road, I don't know, you have to visit them to get with them or people simply feel like you will end up with a foreigner because you are too quirky or uh, how do I say, too unusual uh, for anybody from your own town, small town or something like that to get you 
uh, people feel like it will take a really unusual and special person to gain your affections, to gain your attention. Uh, so you are known as somebody who has uh, pretty high standards when it comes to whom you date. But it, I'm getting like it's not obvious thing that you are seeking, but maybe you want them to have, I don't know, openness towards spirituality, then uh, also willingness to uh, work with the therapists on their issues or maybe to work together uh, with the therapist at some point or something like that. We do have the Seven of Pentacles reversed. For you, things kind of easily grow in a way. Uh, the most fundamental things for la in your life, they kind of easily grow. Uh, but you also do have this reputation of somebody who gets easily bored, who needs to be animated, entertained. Uh, you can uh, kind of be left on hold, basically. So... I will say that for some of you, you have a little bit of reputation of somebody who likes to win without a lot of effort invested in this situation. So that's something to consider. But you could also be known as somebody who has this dry humor. Let's see. I will say also that you are known as somebody who burned the bridges with many past lovers or like past flames. So this is something definitely obvious in this one. It's almost like your exes know that once they are exes, there's no return or uh, there's no working on the relationship, on the connection. Let me see, what else do we have? World, Six of Pentacles, Reverse. I also feel like some, for some of you, you are known as somebody who didn't quite have the best childhood. Uh, maybe you were neglected because your parents' focus was in some transport, transformative situations and therefore they couldn't be there with you or something like that. Or you may have grown uh, without a parent. Uh, even if they were there, it's like they weren't. So... Yeah. Hey, but if you like this more, you pour, give it a small like so that it reaches more people. Yeah, what I'm also sensing, uh, it's almost like you have always have hidden advantages or uh, it's almost like you don't reveal all your cards and you're somebody who has a, a reputation of person who hides how resourceful you are until the crisis moment happens or the culmination moment happens. So, and people somehow, some way have a feeling about that, but you also have the reputation of somebody who can be very goofy and playful, especially with children, or you just have specific tone with children. You know how to speak to children. There's something about you and children where you know how and when to be of equal mind as them. So if you're somebody who is like ch children's caretaker or I don't know, um, or you maybe work in kindergarten, this would be amazing for you because you know how to relate and connect with them. Uh, or if your profession is, is in any way connected to children. So there are some powerful Indications correlated to that. You see, I do feel like you are known as somebody who tends to be introverted and have some walls for some of you, not for all, but uh, it's almost like you are shielding yourself, and this is kind of known. Uh, people know that only the worthy ones are allowed to be in your presence. But there's also this indication that some of you are not afraid to have argument, to have fight. Uh, you Maybe some of you even believe that relationships thrive in healthy arguments, thrive in healthy fights. Or that it's better to have an argument on time uh, than to have to establish boundaries later uh, in the game. 
so we do have some indications related to that we do have the Mars in first house, so you could be known as somebody who exercises. Five of Wands is also here, along with the Page of Swords. Maybe some of you have a lot of knowledge about fitness industry uh, or how to exercise, how to do certain uh, certain programs or how to do certain things tried how much proteins to take or when to take them pre-workout post-workout uh, for some not for all so let's see some of you have the reputation of loving the seaside loving boats uh, loving water bodies or being there often or like as often as you can There's a strong connection correlated to that. We do have the Mars in Cancer. This can indicate younger sibling trouble. So some of you maybe don't have the best connection with your younger sibling because Mars is all about younger sibling or there's like trouble in heaven even if you had a good connection until this point. Um, because Saturn fourth house also denotes some whom related trouble or maybe you had some dramatic circumstances within your home some of you are known uh, for somebody who experienced childhood trauma uh, you do have the moon in night house so yeah I will say you have a very altruistic way of thinking your whole inner landscape uh, of your mind, I would say, is all about ex uh, expansion, expansion, idealism, optimistic uh, vibes. So it's easy for you to visualize and uh, see the happy outcomes. You know how some people, when they manifest, uh, they have difficulty kind of imagining things uh, going their way. Or there's that technique where you have to uh, feel the positive emotion in advance before the desired scenarios happen happens and some people have problems with that however with you guys I feel like you have the capability you can do it you can experience emotion uh, like positive emotion before the outcome or the event happens so yeah some of you have this reputation of somebody being a very almost professional at manifesting so there is an indication correlated to that let me just see I think I saw one placement that I wanted to address some of you have a reputation of somebody who knows a lot about attachment styles in love like anxious avoidant etc etc so they do have some combos correlated to that yeah but i feel like i will have to conclude it here uh yeah but i hope you guys enjoyed this small report uh if you did maybe listen to one of the other pals as well and if not see you in the next reading bye bye